Kentucky Sports Live, Maria. Boy, you should have worn your shirt today. What's that? You should have worn your shirt today. I know. Your Maria I had Jack shirt. I all day shirt. yesterday and subjected people to that. <laughs> <laughs> Maria Jack is with us. You can join us here on Facebook Live as we talk about uh, your announcement that you're running for Indiana County Commissioner. Yes. How about that? Well, it's it's good news. It's big news, I should say. Whether it is it's good news. news or not for you, I don't know. <laughs> it's very big news. I've always wondered what my purpose in life was. Mm -hmm. I've been like a snowball for the past 10 years that I've been in the workforce in Indiana because previous to that I just volunteered my butt off mm -hmm. and uh, I wondered you know why why am I doing all these things why why am I taking on these jobs and and now it's all come together um, I had the chance to be appointed as the county auditor last year and uh, it's been a very rewarding eye-opening experience for me being a public servant and I realized you know what it's time for me to step up um, we can all sit back in our easy chair and um, enjoy the work of other people and the fruits of that. But it's time. I have time in my life, and I want to give back, and this is a great way for me to do that. So the auditor's position actually opened your eyes to that possibility? Yes, yes. Wow. Um, you know, it's, it's given me a look at every one of the 30 departments in the courthouse that the commissioners manage, at their budgets, at the details that make that budget up, and to meet the people from the departments uh, that the commissioners manage and it's been a great experience yeah well that's interesting that that's what led to the decision but it still had to be um, quite a soul-searching experience to to go through and make that decision to actually step forward and run very much you have to have a lot of courage because it's a tough thing to do to go into the election process but if you look at the end result and your goal and that I will become a commissioner of this county and be able to oversee things with a great knowledge and support um, and be a voice for our community, I'm really excited. Okay, so with that as, as our backdrop here, tell me what you would like to do as a county commissioner. What do you see as the, th the things that should be at the top of the list for commissioners in this county? Well, representing the Republican Party, of course, I believe in small government and tax constraints. And with that, probably the number one issue that everybody wants to hear about is the property tax. And, of course, we can't do that at this level. That has to come from legislature. And I've talked to Jim Struzzi, and there's a number of, a whole lot of bills mm -hmm. in the legislature to address that. And so our role as commissioners uh, using CCAP is to be an advocate for our counties and to let our legislatures know that we're not going to let this issue go, that we need some kind of relief, uh, a, a different way to get this tax for our communities. Yeah, the County Commissioners Association of Pennsylvania has been really, really hard after the issue of property taxes. Um, but from the commissioner's standpoint, it has a bit of a different angle to it because that is the only revenue stream for counties across Pennsylvania. You are, as a county, barred from getting any other revenue stream. I'm sure you'd like to see that open up. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And, um, you know, my predecessors have worked towards putting uh, the wheels into motion, and I want to move that forward and, um, you know, continue the work that we need to do to tighten the belt on the budget and um, keep the tax constraints off the seniors and, um, you know, find other ways that we can bring that revenue in. Yeah, okay. And that revenue, of course, is used for a number of different services across Indiana County. What are some of the other things that you're thinking about as a county commissioner that need to be addressed? Well, workforce development is the very biggest one for me. Um, we're so fortunate to have Urban come in and 250 jobs. And uh, even with the, the businesses that we have in the community now, it's tough, um, you know, finding workforce that is educated, but I'm so proud of all the agencies that are working together, CareerLink, CareerTrack, um, the CEO. I mean, people don't realize behind the scenes all these people that are working together to try to educate the workforce and bring opportunities to them. I mean, just yesterday I met Michael Vukovic, the new superintendent of Indiana Schools, and wow, what a guy. I mean, he was at the commissioner's meeting and he talked about how excited he is to be living in Indiana. And um, he, he told me about the Employment Expo, the new name of the Career yeah. Expo, April 4th at the KCAC. And um, one of the innovative things that they're doing, because we're all trying to think out of the box and find another way to uh, reach people, is they're going to have 900 students, 9th and 10th uh, graders, coming in the morning to talk to business owners. And, you know, that's an important thing, entrepreneurship, internships. 
and uh, see what the career possibilities are out there. I mean, ICTC, what a great organization, too, that all the schools uh, can bond together with and, you know, try to get WCCC in there. And um, Indiana Conservation District is going to go out there and a big part of their agenda is going to be education. Um, and then at 1230, the veterans are going to be able to come in first to go through uh, the employment expo and then the general it'll be open to the general public. So I think, you know, you have to think about educating the younger generation mm -hmm. because I think it's 70 percent of the jobs around here require less than an associate's degree. So, yeah. you know, there's plenty of opportunities and to make a lot of money, too. Yeah, we've and we've think, been thinking with the coming of urban and I've talked about this with the present commissioners. Um, there are going to be other issues. Uh, mm -hmm. Urban comes and they bring jobs with them. We better have people to fill them and we better have places to house them, services to offer them. Human services in Indiana County are a really big deal, aren't they? Oh my goodness, that's that's so vital for everything that goes around here too. That's another big issue for me. I mean, aside from keeping um, the belt tightened on our budget, we can't forget about our veterans, about the mental health issues that we have, about the drug addiction, because, uh, you know, in order to attract businesses here, we have to have communities that are vital and, and, and they're growing, and we have that in Blairsville, the BCDA with Linda Gwynn and Carol Preschetti. I mean, they work so hard to try to make that community look great. And Linda and Jack McGuire in Salzburg. And, uh, you know, I've been in through all these communities and they work hard. They want it to look good. They want to attract people to come live here. And we, we have to provide services for the people in those rural areas that need help, whether it be broadband, rural broadband, which, yay, Senator White, thank you for that great grant this morning. And um, su sustainable economic growth. Um, you know, we have our farmers in the rural area that um, I see uh, Indiana Conservation District helps provide services to them. And, and um, you know, it, it's, it's just a, a, a big ball that we're all working with and trying to mold that into what we need to make our county great. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right. So Maria Jack is with us. Uh, she is uh, going to be with us for a couple of minutes longer before we get to the CBS Sports Minute. As you enter into the campaign season then, and the primary season comes up first, uh, you'll be one of several running on the Republican ballot. Um, uh, what do you see as um, uh, the campaign issues that you will be dealing with uh, as as you enter into this? Uh, this is your first run at public office, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. I was appointed last year, so I would have had to run for auditor this year. Yeah. Um, what do you see at the campaign season? How do you see it unfolding for you? You're going to be, I'm assuming, holding town meetings and, and, and making all kinds of campaign stops? Going door to door. Working the gun bashes, the bingos, the fish fries. I want to meet as many people as I can. I've been fortunate working for the Tourist Bureau that I do know a lot of people in the outer communities. But, you know, still I want to get out there and let people put a name to the face. And um, uh, my family has been in the community. I'm one of ten kids. My dad had a business, Green Still, out in Dixonville for many years. And, um, you know, I know there's people that know us through that. And, of course, having nine brothers and sisters, <laughs> there's a lot. But, you know, I, I want to be a voice for the people. I, I want to be a public servant. Do you hear that? There's not a lot of people that stand up and say that. I want to do that for my community. And um, it's, it's time, and, and I know I can do it. Well, we thank you for coming in to tell us about your candidacy. Best of luck to you and to thank all you. of the candidates as the spring primary season comes along. I'm assuming, Maria, that you have a website or a Facebook site that folks can visit to learn more? Yes, I do. <laughs> it's, oh my goodness, I can't even think right now. Shouldn't have thrown that at you right off. Yeah, the I do have a Facebook <laughs> page, and I think it's Maria Jack for Commissioner, and um, my website is will be on there. Mm -hmm. So um, Okay, so you can link it right, right off your Facebook page. Yes. Very good. Okay. Thanks for coming in this Thanks, morning. Todd. We appreciate it. It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS AM 1160 and 101.1 FM.